कौन 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 होगा वो आखिर आखिर हम साउथ इंडिया कैसे जीतेंगे कौन है वो जो साउथ इंडिया में कांग्रेस को जिता सकता है कौन The Congress party has won by a clear majority in Karnataka. Congress has won 135 seats out of 225, defeating the BJP who gained only 66 seats. Prime Minister Modi and the BJP party have taken a rare and painful loss. So, what do you think went wrong for Modi ji and the BJP? Whether you're left, right or neutral, stick around as we break down the 10 reasons why BJP lost Karnataka. Let's begin. The first reason was alienating minorities. Look at this pie chart of the population of Karnataka based on religion. The Hindus have a clear majority. So, going by this data, the BJP should have ideally had the upper hand in this election. But this data does not tell us the full story. We need to go a layer deeper to community or caste based population data which has not been made public. But here are some estimates derived from the previous census data. So the Lingayats and Vokaliga communities are said to make up around one fourth of the population, followed by Dalits and SC communities who are said to have an equally large percentage and 12% of population is made up by Muslims. The rest of the pie is shared amongst a diverse set of religions and communities. So BJP lost the Muslim vote right from the start because of their whole Hindu versus Muslim strategy. BJP then lost the Dalit and SC communities as well because of the current Congress president Malik Arjun Kharge. Kharge is from Karnataka's Gulbarga district and the Dalit community known as Banjara. He is one of the most recognized leaders of the scheduled castes in Karnataka. This allowed Congress to acquire votes from one of the largest demographics of Karnataka. This brings me to the second point that sidelining prominent leaders. So the Vokaligas and Lingayats have been the king makers in Karnataka. Even in the last election the BJP was able to count on the votes from these communities and hence had a slight edge. This year BJP lost these votes because they sidelined one of the most prominent representatives of the Lingayat community that is Yadurappa. It is because of him that the powerful Lingayat community gravitated towards the BJP from the Congress after 1989. Sidelining him led to Congress winning 45 out of 69 Lingayat dominated seats while the BJP secured just 20 seats despite Baswaraj Bommai the last CM being from the Lingayat community. The third reason is corruption allegations. So, one of the reasons for Bommai losing support was the corruption allegations against him and the multiple campaigns by Congress that highlighted this. One of them was the Pay CM campaign which took direct shots at Bommai. So, as a part of this Pay CM campaign, Congress put multiple posters on the outskirts of Bengaluru with a QR code in the image of the CM Baswaraj Bommai. So, when you scan this QR code, you were directed to a website called 40% Sarkara which basically hinted that Bommai's BJP government was charging 40% commission on public works. This campaign was an attempt to bring light to the story of Santosh Patel, a contractor who raised allegations against a BJP official and ex-rural development minister K.S. Ishwarappa, claiming that Ishwarappa asked him for 40% commissions to clear bills. Patel had also said that Ishwarappa should be held responsible if something happened to him. And after these allegations, Santosh was found dead in a hotel. Police categorized it as suicide, and the courts ruled in favor of Ishwarappa. Bringing this incident back in the limelight shook people's belief in Bommai. The fourth reason for BJP's loss was the two power-packed candidates from Congress. As Bommai's influence started dying out, his opposition got doubly strong with two CM candidates. First is people's favorite Siddaramaiah, backed by the Kurubas, who in 2013 became the first Chief Minister of Karnataka to serve a full five-year term in 40 years. He is seen as the people's leader due to his pro-poor policies. The second candidate is D K Shiv Kumar, a politician backed by the Vokaligas, known for his philanthropy and social work. 
both of them presented a united front during the elections to make their party win. And as of now, Siddaramaiah has been named the Chief Minister of Karnataka, while DK Shivkumar is named Deputy CM. The fifth reason was the failure of Hindu versus Muslim strategy. See, these strategies had worked very well for BJP in Gujarat and UP. but backfired in Karnataka by appealing to the Hindu majority and implementing policies against Muslim minority with actions like the hijab ban halal meat ban love jihad stories the BJP sought to win after the people of Karnataka even recently before the polls BJP announced that it would remove the 4% reservation for Muslims this hindu versus muslim sentiment did not resonate with the people of Karnataka hence it backfired let's come to the sixth point That's the center versus south strategy. So the center versus south sentiment has been gaining traction among people of Karnataka and other South Indian states. The Congress was quick to jump on this trend and leverage the situation with boycott Amul campaign, where they encouraged people to buy Nandini milk, a Karnataka government-backed milk brand. and vocally rejecting hindi imposition they focus on the sense of regional pride which increased their popularity among kannadigas a demographic that makes up 67% of karnataka the seventh reason was not catering to the women demographic see at 43.7% the number of women voters almost equals that of men in karnataka this was a demographic that bjp failed to please on the other hand four out of the five guarantees announced by the congress targeted these women or the households which also brings me to the next point the congress promise these promises which were targeted at women included free bus travel for women monthly assistance of 2000 rupees for women head of the family free 10 kg food grains for bpl families 200 units of free electricity for every household and 3000 rupees per month for unemployed graduates and 1500 rupees per month for unemployed diploma holders these promises appeal to the unemployed and the lower income families driving more votes towards congress and away from bjp the ninth reason is the strategic and mastermind behind most of these strategies and campaigns a highly sought after political strategist named sunil konagulu Sunil had played a key role in BJP's victory in 2017 and in Prime Minister Modi's election campaign in 2014. This prolific Sunil Konagulu left the BJP and joined Congress. He had a strong focus on data and analytics and in the recent election his team and him crafted the behind the year flower campaign and fine tuned the Congress's five guarantees making them easy to remember. He was also the mastermind behind the Pay CM campaign. The 10th and the last reason is people like you, the smart voters. Today, armed with access to instant information, many of the voters can distinguish between what's best for their state and what's best for the country. See, Modi may still hold all the cards on a national level in the Lok Sabha, but not for states. And people want their state leaders to stand up to the center rather than be a pawn of the center. And speaking of the center, the election race is heating up. The big Lok Sabha elections will be held approximately a year from now, before which there are series of state elections. And we at AVTV will be covering and breaking down all of it. So hit the subscribe button so you can stay informed and educated every step of the day. My name is Achina Maya. Thank you for watching.